got kissed by a girl for the first time, and passed out reddit, what is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you lately? I guess not lately, but the most embarrassing thing that happened to me was junior year of high school. My school held this basketball game fundraiser, and for the halftime show, an MC came up and asked for two volunteers. I don't know why I felt extremely extravagant that day, but I was screaming and jumping for them to notice me and to pick me. I get picked, and then some other guy also gets picked. We come on down, and the MC hands me the mic, asking me what's my name. I shout my name loudly into the mic, and this hurts the audience's ears. They all start groaning. Who ops? The other guy says his name. Music starts playing in the background and I think oh shit, please not a dance contest. And MC says you guys are going to have a dance competition. Fuck. He lets me start. Well I have no idea how to dance, especially in front of a huge crowd, filled with all of my peers. I do some weird moves, some booty shaking cringe, and I'm all excited about it, but there's not much reaction in the crowd. My turn is over, and it's the other guy's turn and he does some generic move like the sprinkler or some shit. You know. Or the running man. Whatever haha. And the MC goes up to me with the mic, and says cheer, if you think Red did better, and I'm trying to pump up the audience by cheering for myself. But it gets dead quiet. It's just me cheering for myself. The MC goes over to the other guy says cheer, if you think this guy did it better and the whole audience goes into an uproar cheering for him. So fucking mortified at myself. It felt like I was trying to be myself and have fun but nobody liked it. Like a flurry of down votes, I guess. Never again. Fuck being extrovert. I was at the gym and had eaten about 30 minutes before. I thought that would be enough time to digest. I was about a mile and a half into my 2 miles on the treadmill when I started to feel a little nauseous. But I was close to finishing, so I didn't want to slow down. About a quarter mile later I realized I was going to vomit, no matter if I stopped or not. So I stepped off the treadmill and tripped, falling straight on my stomach. Of course this made vomit my half digested tuna sandwich all over the floor. I just laid there and groaned while everyone stared. Not my finest moment. The most embarrassing thing that's happened to me that I can remember right now would have to be what happened to me at a rec center over the summer just recently. I had just gotten done working out and I was feeling pretty confident. There was a pretty girl who was sitting on a bench on her phone and texting all alone. Being the hot hunk of man meat I felt like I walked over there expecting to say something witty or funny or something and get a number. I get over there, and she looks up at me, and I completely went brain dead. I knew I needed to say something, so I said the first thing that came to mind. That thing was, unfortunately, so, do you think Disneyland gets a lot of pedophiles? Smooth, TL, doctor, worst conversation starter of all time. Was shadow boxing slash pretend boxing with my best mate's four year old son. I was kneeling, we were both laughing, and having fun until he lunged forward unexpectedly, and I punched him in the face. It wasn't an accident. I just hate people invading my personal space. Little glass-jawed motherfucker learned a lesson that day. I was about 7 months pregnant at the time. I went into work on my day off to get my check, and get it cashed at the bank at the front. I was next in line, when I started feeling really hot and dizzy. There was a guy behind me that I turned to, and I guess I said something to him that was basically gibberish, I don't remember this part, and then face planted into him, knocking him down with me. I had passed out. It took me a while to come back to my senses, and by that time the paramedics were there, saying they had to take me to the ER. All my coworkers watched me being rolled out, and after finding out I was okay, made fun of me for trying to molest a man by using him as a bed. I still wish I could apologize to him, but I have no idea who he was, nor could I really point him out in a crowd. Got stoned with a girl in college, and then went to a coffee shop to grab a snack. We order our coffee and sit down to wait. When our order comes up I get up to go grab it, and as I'm walking to the counter I start to faint. It had never happened before, so I tried to fight through it. First my hearing went, then my vision started going black. And as I'm getting to the counter and blindly reaching out for my coffee my body goes limp. 
I collapse in the middle of this store, spill my coffee all over myself in the process, try unsuccessfully to get up once, then on the second, try I get up, and upon realization of what just happened, I just run out the door. Once safely around the corner I texted her what happened, she wasn't happy. I was walking to college, and heard a shout from some way behind me, it looked like a couple of my friends, FYI, it was two girls, and I'm a boy, and I was certain, so I turned around, and began to walk towards them, as I got closer I was looking right at them, and started worrying, because they began to look more and more unfamiliar. It got to the point, where I was just over 29 meters away, certain it's not them, yet still looking them in their eyes. I end up not walking past them, but going up a road on the left, taking the biggest fucking detour ever. They must have been creeped the fuck out. I'm the guy who always passes out during the health class movies, gross stuff, people telling surgery stories, etc. So when my wife got pregnant we signed up for Lame's classes for whatever reason people do that. I was pretty good until one day they decided it would be a good idea to give a slideshow on caesarean sections. Needless to say, the one of them yanking the baby head through the gaping wound was enough to put me down. But for me the act of passing out involves a lot of fanfare such as spasmodic motions, farting, snorting, and gasping sounds, profuse sweating, and on this occasion the full release of my bladder. So it was great to have 30 strange people huddled over me yelling call 9, double 1, and are you okay? And he pissed his pants. When I came to... I was mortified, and just walked off. Plot twist, my daughter was actually delivered caesarean, and I was there during the whole thing. I was 8 years old, and went to my uncle's wedding. There were a few hot girls there, who apparently family now. My uncle asked them to keep me entertained. I saw them, and was so excited that for some reason I farted shouted. My dad always brings this story up. I have shared this story before, but it will never get old. I used to think that boneless chicken were special chickens grown without bones that would just flop around. I had seen a far side comic and somewhere deep in my subconscious the cartoon become a reality for me. After my family gave me plenty of shit for it, I told my friend in my math class about it, who told our teacher, who then told all of his classes. I became known as the boneless chicken girl for a while. Freshman year of college. Didn't have my sleep schedule down quite, right so I ended up doing a lot of dozing off in classes. So this one day in chemistry lecture I fell asleep in class, only to be awoken by the sound of my own a squake of a fart. In a room full of 150 plus freshmen slash sophomore college students. My friend next to me was dying trying to hold in his laughter, and you could just tell everyone in the room heard it, but was doing an amazing job suppressing their laughter. Luckily the professor didn't hear it at all, and just kept on teaching. This happened a while ago, but I'll share it anyway. I was fairly unathletic as a kid, so I wasn't much into football, but thought it would be cool to try on my friend's football gear, just to see what it feels like. One of the first things I pulled out of his gym bag was a protective cup. I had no idea what it was at the time and soon realized that it didn't fit well on my knees, elbows, or shoulders. The logical next step was that it must be sort of face mask or mouth cover. That's when buds could no longer contain their laughter and informed me that I might as well been rubbing my friend's nuts on my face. Still talk to a few of them and they haven't forgotten. Shit, better get mine in. It was grade school. I was probably 10 to 12 years old. A year or three before middle school. I can't remember exactly how old I was only because this wasn't the first time this happened to me, but it certainly was the first time during school. So, it's the second half of the day, right after lunch, and we are back in class. I'm seated in my tribe, teachers agree to make teams four times a year in class. A new scrambled group of students for two to three months, and probably didn't feel good. I used to be a very quiet person, I still am. But when I was younger this was much more of a problem. I didn't feel like raising my hand to ask the teacher to let me go to the washroom. Seeing as we had just come out of the lunch period, I sit and soldier my way through this bad feel. That was a horrible mistake. I felt something along the lines of having gas, like a lot of it. So I figure releasing a silent fart couldn't hurt. I do the lean back fart movement. 
you know, you're in your chair and you jut your legs forward into a super slouch onto the back. I underestimate the pressure built up inside me. Completely underestimate it. I didn't quietly let out a much needed fart. I had evacuated my bowels in its entirety into my underwear and pants. Full on shit in my pants in class. Why it's the most embarrassing thing to me, I stayed in school until it was over. About 2 hours denying that I shit myself. Before I share, can I just give a huge or one internet hug for you? As for my most embarrassing story, when I was in 6th grade, I had a huge crush on this boy, Ricardo. To me, he was singly the most amazing boy I'd seen in my 12 years of life. Obviously, I was incapable of saying anything to him, so I employed the most sophisticated manner of communication available to me at the time, my best friend Jackie. I told her to please relay him a message. I said, tell Ricardo I think he's really cute, and that I like him. Instead of relaying the message, she brought him over to me, and chirped, she has something to say to you. I took one look at him, turned, and ended up running away. Smack into a basketball post. I knocked myself out, and woke up caked in blood. Ricardo never looked at me again. TL, doctor, tried to tell a guy I liked him, ran away, and broke my nose. I have OCD. For a while, I had to step on certain cracks on the sidewalk several times. Because this was really time consuming, I would usually try to do it really quickly, like running, only that I would stay in one place, while moving my feet up and down to hit the cracks. Well, one day I did this while a group of girls were walking behind me. When I stopped, they stopped, too and waited, while I ran on the cracks. Then they applauded. It was the lowest point of my life. But it actually helped with that particular obsession. My aversion to being ridiculed turned out to be stronger than my desire to pursue the obsession of stepping on cracks. Now if only I could be shamed into giving up my other obsessions. <laughs> Diet Coke plus Memphis with my brother whilst waiting in a busy airport. Famous last words go on, it's not like it'll explode. Worst part about it was my bro tried putting the cap back on the bottle whilst coke was shooting out. Ended up just spraying the people next to us as well. Hands down the most embarrassing event in my life. Some of the people who got sprayed laughed it off, but most of them were furious. Couldn't really blame them though. That's nothing. Here's how I asked out my girlfriend. I made the dumb mistake of telling my friends that I would, so they followed me to watch. We were outside one of the gym locker slash bathrooms. She said no, but not just by saying no. She laughed so hard she fell down then, clearing tears from her eyes. She says, oh god, oh, no, sorry, but no. I walked away with my head down and slipped in a puddle of what I guess was urine. I landed face down on one of the shitty rugs that they have to wipe your feet. It caught the waistband of my pants and pulled them down under my ass. I looked back over my shoulder and she's laughing her ass off. I also had a bloody nose. It was a good day. TL. Doctor, I was rejected by a girl. Slipped, smashed my nose, then accidentally mooned the girl. My communications professor made us type up a resume to an internship we want to apply to, made us come into class dressed appropriately, and gave us a practice interview in front of the whole class. I was wearing a black skirt that came down to my knees with really nice heels. My resume was good and the practice interview went well. Until when I got home I realized and haven't shaved my legs in 5 days. Oh god why? I should not be proud of this. Boo it here's my time to shine. So 2 years ago, me and 2 of my best friends were seeing our female friend. Me and 2 friends are male, for the last time before college started, when I would be moving across the country. This girl is crazy, and is hitting on all of us, and was pretty drunk by now. Well, since one of the guys I was with had a girlfriend and the other is somewhat awkward, they decide I should get with her. And, well, they knew it's been a while, since I have been with a girl. Well, little did they know, that it had been a good 20 days since I masturbated, not since last month. Anyways we start fooling around, just making out, in a separate room, and I forget, that I have not touched myself in 3 weeks. She gets naked, I get naked, and I sit down on the bed. She seductively walks over, flips her dark hair over her face and eyes, coats both palms with saliva, and grips my member hard as she strokes from the top down. Once. Splat. 
I had the most simultaneous explosive orgasm of my life, all over her face and hair. She just sits there shocked, as I launch load after load into her dark hair, three in all. I shit you not, it was a good 5 to 6 times as much as normal. Once she touches it in her hair she starts to scream, and my bud has opened the door to this disaster. Needless to say, she left and I have not talked to her since. It's been 2 years and my friends have said nothing either. TL, doctor, don't not masturbate. I had just gotten out of class at 2.30, and I didn't have class until 4 o'clock. I always go to the science building of my college and just hang out there until 4, and that day was no different. Well there is this really handsome guy in my class that usually waits there too, but we have never spoken. I think I've only ever smiled at him. Anyways, so I sit down, and he's walking by with his friend and all of a sudden he asks me what's up. I was caught off guard so all I did was smile stupidly at him, and as he's leaving I hear him ask in Spanish to his friend why I didn't say anything back. His friend said it was a good sign. I couldn't look him in the eye for my whole class. It may not sound that bad, but it was pretty embarrassing in the moment. I'm usually a pretty smooth guy, but one day I was so far off my game it's like I was in a foreign country. I was on campus at the ATM taking out some money to pay my room at back for something, when two stunning girls come over from the Starbucks and start talking to me, asking about a chemistry test we had just taken. They asked how I though I did, and I responded with, ugh, that test gave me AIDS. Awkward laughs, not cool. So I try to follow up with something funnier to override my fail. Well, it probably wasn't the test that gave it to me. Haha. <laughs> Ha. Ah, dead. Silence. So I motion to stick my hand out, to break the tension and introduce myself, and I punch the Starbucks right out of one girl's hand, onto the chest slash face slash torso of the second girl. Luckily it was an iced coffee, or this girl would have some burns. The stands there, like she had just seen a ghost, and her friend, coffee punch girl, looks at me with utter disgust. I tell her I'll go get a janitor, and just run the fuck home. Never looked back, got Chinese food like a boss. But I know eventually I'll run into them, and on that day I shall cry. <laughs>